In this week's tutorial, we are going to deal with a concept that is pretty basic, but it is used throughout JavaScript code. It is also a concept that can trip you up if you don't understand it thoroughly. It is the idea of truthy and falsy values in JavaScript. Truthy and falsy values in JavaScript is a concept that can help reduce the amount of code you write in conditionals. However, there are some gotchas you need to be aware of if you're going to use them. Basically, a truthy value is anything that evaluates to true in a conditional. JavaScript uses type conversion to coerce a value to a Boolean when it is needed. And when you test a value in a conditional, that's when it is needed. So JavaScript coerces it into a Boolean. Now let's first take a look at an example. When I first started writing code, I would generally do something like this when I was trying to check to see if some variable I had declared had a value in it. So somewhere in my code farther up, I would declare the variable. And then when I needed to check the variable to determine whether it had a value or not, I would do something like this. If it's not equal to undefined, not equal to no, not equal to an empty string, right here, two quotes, empty string, then I would go ahead and do something with that value. Otherwise, I would not. Now, this works great, but this is a long way to write that out. So there's an easier way to write this using truthy and falsy. If I remove all of this, and I'm just checking the value, so basically what this conditional is doing is checking the value, JavaScript will convert that value to a Boolean. So in order to understand how that works, we need to understand which values convert to a true Boolean. And these are considered truthy values. And the best way to define truthy values is by delineating all the falsy values. Because basically, if it doesn't evaluate to false, it evaluates to true. So here are the falsy values in JavaScript. Obviously, false. The Boolean false is a falsy value. It evaluates to false because it is false. Null and undefined are both falsy values. They are converted to false when a Boolean is needed. Zero, NAN. So if a value is determined that it's not a number, that is a falsy value and evaluates to false. And then empty strings. If nothing is in the string, basically two quotes without anything between it, that is a falsy value. So jumping back to this example that I just changed, I shortened it quite a bit. I'm going to save that really quick. Refresh and open the console. As we can see, nothing comes up. So it is determining that because no value is in here, it is false. If it were true, this statement would then log to the console. So let's say that later on in our code, a value is assigned to it. Now when we refresh, as you can see, it determines that the value is true because there is now something associated with it. Now this is where the gotcha comes in. This works great unless it's possible that the value it could be assigned to is one of those falsy values. And the most common gotcha is zero. So let's say we're considering numbers and the variable could get assigned some sort of number. Well, if it gets assigned a five, we're fine. It determines that it has a value. But what if it gets assigned a zero? Suddenly it no longer evaluates to true, even though we have a value in there. Even though our code may be considering zero as a value, it does not evaluate it to true. 
And so that is one of the gotchas you need to be aware of. Now, something else that is helpful with using truthy and falsy values is understanding some of the truthy values that you may not initially think are truthy values. Let's take a look at a few of those. For example, an empty object, it evaluates to true. An empty array, it evaluates to true. A negative number evaluates to true. So looking at our example, let's say at some point, this gets defined as an empty object. There's nothing in the object yet, but it is an object. Refresh and open the console. As you can see, it determines that it is a value. So don't let that confuse you as well. So understanding the concept of truthy and falsy can help you when writing conditionals. It prevents you from writing so much code to try to test certain conditions. However, you do need to be aware of the gotchas. If it's possible that that value could be a zero, you need to be aware of that. It could trip you up. Now, I hope you found this short little tutorial helpful. If so, please like the video. We have a number of tutorials on JavaScript, which you can access from our website. They're organized into different categories to make it easier for you to find what you're looking for. We also have courses available. If you would like to view an, another tutorial from our YouTube channel, click the video link in the center of the screen. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, click the circle link on the left. We release new videos every week. And if you'd like to visit our website for JavaScript courses and other resources, click the link on the right. Thanks for watching.